Linda Shongwa is being laid to rest in Durban today. Shongwa and two other people died when a truck hit them on the N1 near Hamanskral last weekend while they were trying to assist victims of an accident. Well, President Ramaphosa visited the family ahead of, uh, ahead of that uh, particular thing. Now, we now cross to the SAPC reporter, Ayanda Mshongo. Ayanda, a very good morning to you. Bring us up to speed with the proceedings of the funeral. A very good morning to you, Simpu, and good morning to our viewers. We're coming to you live from the Durban ICC, um, the arena where the official service of the late Deputy Minister of Mineral Resources and Energy, Ba Velile Songo, will be taking place. Now, as you can see, possibly behind us, guests have started to uh, arrive uh, here. And as uh, earlier on, Simpu, you're speaking to my colleague, Simpu, Makanya, who was at the home, uh, we now know that uh, the funeral procession is uh, now on its way here uh, to the ICC for uh, the official uh, service. Of course, today, hundreds of uh, people, mourners from Guadalupe Natal, from South Africa, will be gathered here to bid their final farewells uh, to uh, the minister, whose death came as a huge shock uh, to many uh, South Africans, not only uh, those whom she worked with, with, but many people whose life uh, that uh, she attached. Of course, at just uh, 38 years old, throughout the week, we've been speaking to a number of uh, people uh, who've been giving their tributes and uh, just reminiscing on their past and interactions uh, with uh, the minister. And I think uh, two words sum up what many of the people have said, including those that uh, spoke at her memorial uh, service saying that she was fearless and selfless and I think the manner in which she passed helping others uh, also is a testament to the woman that she was and also the role in which she played. She was an advocate for women, uh, a woman who stood and uh, uh, for uh, young people as well within the ANC. It's one uh, a point that many people spoke about how passionate she was about a woman in South Africa and especially now as the country is faced with the scourge of gender-based violence. Many people were speaking about how the fact that she was amongst those leaders that had been extremely vocal and was not happy uh, with what government and saying that government needed to uh, 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 do more in the fight against gender-based violence. Of course, the young people as well were also her passion. She is said to be one of those leaders uh, within the ANC uh, who would speak out and say they wanted to see young people also getting a fair opportunity. She's one of those within the ANC Youth League that were pushing for the 40% representation of uh, young people in senior and government positions. And indeed, um, she this year, of course, being uh, elected appointed by the president as the deputy minister, making her one of the youngest uh, to serve in the national executive. So today, uh, uh, there will be her last uh, tributes, and notably, of course, will be the minister and the department, uh, Gwede Mantash, and of course, that eulogy is going to be delivered by the state president, Cyril Ramaphosa. The official service is expected to get underway at around 8 a.m. this morning. All right, Ayanda, thank you so much for joining us. That was uh, reporter Ayanda Mshlongo. She was speaking to us at the venue where the funeral service will be taking place. And as we saw in the visuals, the casket of uh, the late deputy minister, uh, you know, has just been loaded onto the hearse, making its way to the venue and will be crossing over to that in a moment.